this is Jessica Fox filming for VETT222 task 15, which is the fecal centrifugation with flotation. Um, so I will show you the OCCI certificate here at the Lafayette Veterinary Clinic. And then the supplies needed. I do have my um, fecal sample properly labeled with the patient's name here. Um, the fecal and a microscope slide, uh, cover slips, and then a centrifuge tube with um, applicator sticks here, which we're gonna use to take the feces out and put it in the tube. Um, so let's get started. So um, what you're going to do is get about a quarter teaspoon of the sample. So we'll just go ahead and grab some of this. Place it in there. Okay. Maybe just a touch more and then that should be good. Okay. I'm just going to toss this. And then um, the next step is to fill the vial about half full with the fecal here. And as you can see, this is the fecal. So we'll go ahead and take that. That's about halfway. So then we'll take one of these sticks and go ahead and mix it all up. So you want to mix it, um, the solution and the feces, until um, no large fecal particles remain. So we'll go ahead and keep mixing. Okay. So I think this looks pretty good. Just want to make sure there's no large pieces in here. Take that piece of mucus out probably. Okay, I'm just going to toss that. And then um, I'm going to um, put more fecosol in here until it's about a half inch from the top. Oops, let me make sure my little mark. Okay. So there's that, and now we are going to maybe just put a little bit more in here. That looks pretty good. All right, so we'll um, bring this on over to the centrifuge, and with um, the tube uh, about the same amount in here, we're going to counterbalance it. So place them opposite of each other in the centrifuge, and this is going to run for about three to five minutes at 1300 to 1500 RPMs. So we'll go ahead and start that, and start the timer, and when that's done centrifuging, we'll be back. All right, so now that the centrifuge is done spinning, we'll go ahead and take a look at our sample here. All right, so I'm gonna just bring this over here. I'm going to um, put more fecosol in here to kind of form a meniscus. Okay, so kind of formed a meniscus there. I am going to gently place it in one of these slots here because what I'm going to do is place a cover slip on it. Okay, so we'll place a cover slip on that. <clears throat> Perfect, and then what we're going to do is let this sit for 15 minutes. So I have a 15 minute timer that is started, and when that timer is up, we will be back. 
All right, so we're back and the timer is going off. So it has been the 15 minutes. Um, so we'll go ahead and it, it's been sitting on the um, meniscus for 15 minutes. So the next step, I'm going to take this cover slip off and place it on a microscope slide. Okay. So we'll place that down. <clears throat> All right. And now I'm going to examine this under the microscope, looking for any um, parasitic ova. So we'll go ahead and focus this in. Okay, so now that that's focused, I'm going to move it under 10x and focus it. Okay. And then scan, <clears throat> looking for any parasitic ova. Make sure you're scanning in a nice, um, slow, controlled battlement pattern so you don't miss anything. <clears throat> so far, I'm not seeing any parasites. All right, so now that we've scanned the whole thing, um, no parasites seen, I didn't see any, so I'll go ahead and record that in the patient's record. Um, but the last thing I wanna talk about are um, some common parasites that you might see in a fecal. Um, this is a really good representation of a lot of parasites. Um, some of the more common ones that you'll see, um, the Giardia, Isospora, which is Coccidia, um, the Toxicara canis and cat eye, this is the cat and dog roundworm. Um, so those you might see. Um, yeah, and then you have like um, hookworms and roundworms, um, tapeworms. And this completes the task.